Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Denise. Welcome back to a vlog. Uh, or should I say welcome to a vlog? I haven't done, feels like I haven't done a vlog for ages. Um, where I was weekly vlogging, I was daily vlogging. A uh, bit random, I sort of got out of the sink of it. I'm really sorry if you can hear that fan. I'm just going to move it round a little bit. Just so it's not blowing on the camera as much. Um, so... Yeah, how is everybody? I hope you're all well. I don't know whether this will be a weekly or just a few days. It is actually Sunday the 25th um, today. And I thought, well, I'm going to start a vlog tomorrow. Why not just start it today? Just, yeah, I felt like it. My hair is a mess. I feel hot. <laughs> uh, which I assume majority of people in the UK are feeling that at the moment. And anywhere else in the world... If you are above about 26 degrees, you're probably feeling it. Um, and I know there's places in the world that are like 40 degrees. So, yes. <laughs> uh, but today we have hit uh, 31 degrees. Um, and I haven't really been doing much. So, yesterday Casey and the boys came over. And they we had a sleepover. It was really, really nice. Um, the boys were as good as gold. Um... So Casey came over yesterday, sort of lunchtime-ish. Um, we played out in the garden. I didn't film any of it. Uh, we played out in the garden. Uh, Casey bought a little paddling pool with her. And I went and got some toys from Panland. Um, like garden bits. Uh, Casey bought some like water shooter things with her. Uh, we had a bubble machine that weren't that good. But um, it got better throughout the day. I don't know why. Um, <laughs> but... It was just so much fun. Uh, then the boys got a bit warm, uh, sorry, a bit cold, so we came in. Wow, it's very windy. I feel like ornaments are gonna go out the window. Um, I've already removed some off of the window. Um, but uh, yeah, so that was yesterday, and then we had um, dinner, we didn't sleep, go to sleep till about 12 o'clock last night. Um, it was really, really nice. Woke up this morning and then Casey went home. Uh, Mike was at home today, so she wanted, obviously, Mike to see the boys and whatnot. Uh, so that happened. And today I have done my housework. I have blitzed this place. I've, I say I've blitzed it. I have done quite a lot. <laughs> um, Obviously, with the boys being here, I needed to tidy up anyway, bits and pieces. Uh, hoovered, washed the floor. I've sorted out all over there. It's all nice and tidy. The table is now down. My desk is tidy. The yarn under my desk is put away. The new yarn that I bought la uh, last week is put away. Um, the kitchen was tidy, but now I'm doing dinner. Um, yeah, and I've been to Aldi today. Got a bit of shopping. I've been watching YouTube and doing some knitting. I'm knitting on my ranunculus. This is what it looks like so far. Whoops, I don't want to lose my needles or my stitches. This is what it's looking like so far. I'm really, really pleased with how the yarn is working up. Um, you will be able to see it a bit better once I've split for sleeves and stuff. Um, and now I'm just going into more of these things, maybe this, I can't remember. Um, I don't know whether it's going to fit or not, but it is what it is. I just don't know. <laughs> um, I'm doing my size. I've got tension, so we'll just have to wait and see. Um, and I know you increase at the bottom for bigger sizes. I don't know. But that's what we're going with. Um, I'm in the process of making dinner. I've got chilli on the go. Um, so yeah, I've just had a really super chill day. And I haven't had one of those for... I can't remember how long. Um, last week I was busy. And tomorrow I'm not doing anything that I know of. Tue I might go to the gym tomorrow in the morning. Uh, Tuesday... I've got my Zoom and I've got the washing machine people coming again. Um, and then Wednesday, 
I don't think there's anything happening. On Thursday, I've got a funeral to go to, unfortunately. Um, and then, yeah, I just don't really know. Um, it's going to cool down next week, so hopefully that gives us a bit of a relief from the heat. Um, I haven't complained about the heat at all. I've really enjoyed it because I haven't been too hot. Um, it got really hot in here last night. Obviously, all the bodies and that we had did have two fans going. Um, and it, it did get really hot, but it wasn't too bad. And even being in the sun, like the sun hitting my skin, I'm not like, oh, it's really hot. I was really enjoying having the sun hit me. Um, yeah, I don't know. It just felt like a really nice heat. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd come on and say hello and uh, start this week, or well, this vlog. I don't know how long it's going to be. Um, yeah, so... Ian's at the garage, he's been there most of the day. Alexa, stop. Uh, I've set 10 minute timers because to go and stir dinner. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've just really had a really chilled day. I've really enjoyed it and what more can I say? I've just, yeah, even though I've done all my housework this morning, but do you know when you're doing housework and you just feel like you're getting progress and you can see it being tidy and you can see things being sorted out and like, I don't know, it just felt good. It felt really, really good. Um, even though I've made a mess of the sofa now, but <laughs> um, it's only my knitting. Um, I've also got a new tripod. Well, I say new, it's not really new. Um, it's the tripod from my... Um, DJI Osmo it's um, an extendable tripod let me take you off and I'll show you what it looks like so this is what I am going to be using on this camera I'm really gonna have to take the ornament look at the I don't know if you can see look at the curtains it is tidy um, the table is now tidy ish obviously I've just made a coffee I had this the rest of this for uh, my lunch and I've got my rubbish inside the bottle it's just a bit tidier than it normally is um, yeah so anyway I am using this tripod I wanted an extendable tripod because sometimes I put the camera down and it's either too low and I'm like that's really annoying I just need it up a little bit so yeah I have stolen this from the uh, Osmo all I had to do was buy a new adapter so this is like the generic GoPro type adapter fitting um, and I just had to buy sort of this with a screw to go in my camera uh, so I'm pleased with that and the Osmo is now on a different tripod just a handheld tripod not my uh, Monfrotto because it's quite heavy the Monfrotto and i just thinking that if I need the, that to stand up, I can just use this anyway. A lot of ramble to say I've got a new tripod and hopefully it will be a little bit better. <laughs> uh, but here is my little bit of... Oh, it's not that bad, I suppose. It's not too bad. Um, I need to do a food planner. Um, so I got weighed in yesterday and I put on a pound. Um, I was expecting it because the whole week I did feel really sluggish and I felt really bloated um, so this week I want to try and be as good as I can I have wrote everything on my Slimming World app that I've had to eat today so far um, dinner is sin free um, so yeah we're just I'm just gonna go back to to scratch and and basically have a really good week go to the gym uh, Ian lost three and a half pounds that was really good he got his four stone award uh, I could not be prouder of him um, and it's really really good he's still really really got it in his mind that that's what he this is what he wants to do um, and to be honest a lot of the stuff that we do do is quite easy um, like meals and stuff like dinners and stuff are really easy it's when we go out like oh we can't just pick up McDonald's or we can't just go to Greg's or go to Wenzel's or a bakery or pick up a sandwich because it's high in sins and stuff like that so that's what we're finding difficult more than anything else um, Ian's obviously taking lunch to work with him and and all that um, 
the drinks are fine sort of we're just drinking like diet drinks and so everything is pretty much quite easy like the meals that I'm cooking are quite simple meals anyway um, so yeah but I'm gonna go and stir my dinner I will show you what it looks like okay this is what it looks like it is very yummy uh, we like to reduce it down quite a lot so like so there's not so much liquid I have just stirred it um, there is still quite a lot of liquid in that um, so I will reduce this down um, I don't use red kidney beans I use uh, black beans so and I just put the lid on just a little slant just to let the steam out um, I use black beans because I find that they're um, they just they're not as grainy does that make sense they're not yeah I don't know um, we just prefer black beans and they're free um, like sin free <laughs> they're free foods um, so yeah but uh, we've been really enjoying this as well and I know some people might not be interested in foods that we're eating. This is a Slimming World recipe. Um, I have done JD Seasonings chili con carne before as well, but I haven't got any of the mix. But it is literally just like oregano, uh, paprika, cumin. Um, you could probably find a recipe online and all the herbs are free. Uh, chopped tomatoes, tomato puree, uh, beef stock, uh, and just mix it all up basically with the cooked mints. Um, but a lot of people do ask sort of what we eat and stuff like that but in Aldi I have found this we've been drinking this for a few weeks now um, obviously not all the time but it really reminds me of Lilt it is a, a pineapple and grapefruit it's really refreshing it's really really nice and it's nice sort of I think it is it, a summer drink um, yeah it's a really it's a really nice summer drink um, really refreshing some ice yeah just it's nice also um, Pepsi Max have brought out a mango flavor oh my goodness it is delicious um, I'm not a lover of Pepsi Max uh, I, I will drink it it's not horrible but it's not my favorite um, but the um, mango one is really nice and the raspberry one's really nice the cherry one mm, I could give or take not really too bothered uh, but yeah that one's really nice um, so out here is nice and tidy now um, I, I say it's nice and tidy you all know from previous vlogs before that we live in a small flat not everything has a home uh, so it just sits on the side basically I am going to move this from the window ledge and the, uh, the one on the other side the sun is behind clouds so I've got the curtain the curtains closed too because um, the sun comes right in and makes everything really hot so I've moved everything now that can fall out of the window <laughs> um, like stuff down here yes it's not tidy it don't have a home um, so Ian's got a drill box down there he's got a socket set um, a few bits and pieces he's working on the car like every evening he'll do a little bit of like whatever he's doing to his dashboard um, and stuff so there is stuff around um, I don't live in a show home and I don't really care <laughs> uh, as long as it's tidy enough that we can sort of I don't know I can feel like it's clean and tidy that's good enough for me uh, all I really need to do now is put the washing away does anyone else hate that job uh, I need to put the washing away and I've got washing on the line um, I changed the bed this morning um, but I've only got one black bottom sheet so I had to wash that and then I'm going to put it on the bed but I think I might buy a second one or a grey one because the black one goes with her skull bedding wow that curtain's going again <laughs> and I've got like a knitted print bedding um, and it's grey so really I should buy grey but I just use the black it really don't matter it's bedding get into bed close your eyes you go to sleep <laughs> it don't matter um, I've also got a brown bottom sheet that goes with the brown set that we've got 
Oh, you probably don't need to know all this information. And I've rambled on for so long already. Um, I was thinking, was thinking of doing July vlogs. I'm not 100% sure yet. Um, I will probably vlog, but I don't know if it will be daily. Um, I really enjoy vlogging and the thing for me is editing in it and getting it uploaded. I find that, um, I don't want to say a chore, it's not a chore, but I find that, um, what's the word I'm looking for Denise? I find it that I feel like I have to do it every day, where I know you guys will understand where if I don't upload one day, but I'll upload sort of, I don't know, two vlogs in one day, one in the morning, one in the evening and stuff like that. At the end of the day, the vlogs will always be on YouTube, they'll always be on my channel and they'll always be in order of hopefully what I have filmed. You can always go back to my channel and see the videos. So I think I need to put less pressure on myself, I pressurise myself into, oh, I need to edit today, I need to get it uploaded, I need to edit, I need to get it uploaded, and stuff like that. Um, but the good thing, as well, is I now have paid for, I keep watching these curtains, paid for editing software, and I have the paid for extra. So I have all the sort of elements, and the transitions, and the music, and everything, that is a little bit of an upgrade. So, what do you think? I don't know, shall I do July vlogs? Um, I might do. We'll see what I feel like on the first. <laughs> when is the first? Um, is it Saturday or is it Sunday? Oh, it's Saturday. So I might, because me and Ian have been going out at the weekend and we've been going sort of to different places and, and that. So I don't really know what we're doing on the first. Uh, which is Saturday. We'll see. You'll know because this video will go up and then at the end I'll go, oh, I'm doing vlogs. <laughs> uh, right, I need to go. I need to put this battery on charge. I know. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, and then I need to go and stir dinner again. I'm watching some YouTube and just chilling. And I've spoken for more than I needed to. So I'm going to go. I'm not going to leave you in peace because it's not going to be the end of the video, not yet. Uh, and I'm going to put this camera on charge and you will see me in three, two, one. So, I've just done an hour in the gym and I am absolutely shattered. I'm so hot and sweaty. It is unreal <laughs> um, so I did the treadmill the cross trainer um, and I've done some weights um, so yeah I'm gonna go home for a shower because I feel ugh, horrible my hair needed washing anyway but I thought I would wait um, so yeah I'm gonna go home and chill for the rest of the day I think um, nothing really planned um, I need to get an order out actually so or I need to get something out so I'll probably do that and then uh, after I've chilled obviously uh, but yeah I'm just oh god <laughs> I'm so hot um, I really do feel like I can do more um, than obviously the first couple of times that I was going which is really good um, I'm recording on my phone so sorry if the sound is not great we're right by the um the motorway as well so um but yeah i feel like a beetroot <laughs> i just feel really really red but i really do enjoy it and it's really nice in there it's chilled the only thing that gets on my nerves a little bit is they have classes um and i can understand that the trainer is like shouting instruction and that but she's so loud um, and it's been every time I've been so I think at a certain time every day she does uh, the boxing 
um, and every time I've been at like because I go at roughly the same time every time I've been other than the first time which I came really early um, I don't know I watch YouTube while I'm in there a um, couple of times I've listened to music but I just find YouTube distracts me a little bit more um, and it makes me do more if that makes sense um, obviously because I'm watching something I'm not just listening to music I'm watching something I'm getting engrossed in it um, so I'm finding that that is better for me everyone's different obviously when I'm doing weights and that I change to music um, but when I'm on the treadmill the cross trainer the bike or whatever I'm doing I just watch YouTube um, and I just watch my usual subscriptions I just scroll um, today I was watching um, exploring with fighters um, he's got like a whole um, Japanese Siri, series coming up um, they were in Japan for 10 weeks I think 10 days it wasn't weeks I don't know it was quite a while they were in it was uh, exploring with fighters exploring with Josh um, there was four of them there was uh, anyway so I was watching that uh, I just find yeah just I just find it distracts me and it's just what I like. So that is what I was doing. I took my, I got this bottle uh, um, from Home Bargains. It was three pound. Um, it has got like the times on it. So when I don't go to the gym, I am trying to drink a whole one of these. I know that's still not enough, but um, I'm not very good at drinking water. I do like my coffees in the winter, my iced coffees in the summer um, and fizzy drink and stuff. Um, but I'm trying my best to drink a whole one of these so I've done quite well I know I've worked out so what I'll do is once I've drunk this I will fill it back up um, and then carry on drinking um, so yeah I got this from Home Bargains it was three quid and I know they're on like Aliexpress, Timu and all stuff like that but I did see it and I was like oh it's three pound I might as well just get it in here <laughs> um, so yeah oh that's nice and cold actually um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go home. Home is not too far from here, so that's good. Uh, and I do feel good. Um, what is the time now? It's quarter past 11. Uh, so I've done an hour, that's good. In a way, I think I might start coming a little bit earlier. So what I did this morning was I just got up. Um, I watched some Love Island, I know. Um, and then I got ready and then left and come here. But I might try and come a little bit earlier I don't know my aim is to come for between sort of 9 and 10 and I am getting here near nearer to 10 than 9 um, and there might be the odd time where I get up really really early and then go when Ian leaves for work as well depending on how I feel but the last few days I felt really tired and I don't know whether that's because obviously we had the boys over on Saturday yesterday I did nothing but just clearing up and housework and stuff so um I do want to try and come at least twice a week um Monday for definite because Mondays I find nothing's going on during the day um Tuesday I have my uh weekly zoom so if you're interested on coming uh, to a zoom on a Tuesday uh, just message me for the details and I can let you know um, and that's at 11 o'clock in the morning and then Wednesday I'm gonna try and come to the gym as well Thursday and Fridays there are uh, zooms on Thursday and Fridays one is Mandy's from Mouse's Makes and on Friday is Caroline from the Aria Bar podcast go check out their channels if you're interested in joining their zooms um but i know i'm not i'm not going to restrict myself saying oh no there's a zoom and i can't come to the gym because i can always join later on uh, but with my zoom obviously i want to be there uh, and start it and stuff so um tuesday is sort of out of the question um but the rest of the week is fine but I, I am trying to come on a Monday and Wednesday um, and then obviously the more that I do I might come three times a week um, Ian's not ready to join just yet um, 
which is fair enough. He says he don't want to sort of ruin his knees before he's even started, because uh, he has dodgy knees anyway. So, um, yeah, but I think that him just doing what he's doing is great. And for me, I am trying to write everything down that I have, I'm have. i gonna eat this week. Uh, because last week I felt like we were good, but the weekend we were quite naughty, to be honest. Um, so on Saturday after way day, we do go to the calf. Last week I got an omelet, so, but yeah, omelet and chips. Then we went to South End and we got, um, oh, we had McDonald's as well. We didn't go South End, we went Sheerness during the day. We had McDonald's and then we had sausage batter in the evening. So yeah, Sunday was like a proper wipeout. Um, but I'm gonna write everything down that I eat this week, good or bad, because I just wanna know. And then hopefully it'll all be good. And I will get the result that I want on the scale. Um, I say the result I want, I, I just wanna lose. <laughs> um, even if it's half a pound, it's going in the right direction. Um, I was hoping to maintain this week, but I didn't. A little bit annoying, but uh, yeah, never mind. Right, right, I am definitely gonna go home now because I have spoken for long enough. I need a shower. Um, does anyone else? Oh, come on, you know you want to. My thing ain't coming out. My cup holder. I, like, I know you go to the gym, I know you're working out, but is there really any need for you to stink? <laughs> Like, there's a few people and they just, wow, the wind is bringing up a load of crap. Um, they just stink. And I'm like, did you not put deodorant on before you came in? I don't know. Like, yeah, I'll put deodorant on when I get up and then I'll have a shower and put more deodorant on. So I know that's twice I'm putting on deodorant, but come on, a little spritz. It's not going to hurt. Right. Oh, I've got it out now. <laughs> I'm definitely going. I'm stop, stop, gonna, I'm going to stop rambling and make my way home. So I'm now back home, I'm showered. I'm not gonna bother drying my hair. I really can't be bothered. Um, just put some lunch in uh, as it is now, half past 12. Ian was on a course today and that's finished early. So he's popped two Marks and Spencers on the way home because he fancies steak for dinner. I went to Aldi yesterday. Um, We've got loads of shopping, but he fancy steak, so we're gonna have steak. Um, I just got some like, you know, the mini chicken fillets. I've just put them um, with some Cajun, and I've cooked that. I feel like I'm really close. Mm, not really. Um, yeah, so I've just cooked that, and well, I'm cooking it. It's in the air fryer. I've had a move around with my kitchen, so my air fryer was in this corner here, but now I've got my fruit bowl. Uh, my coffee machine, kettle, um, and the spices, and the air fryer over there. It's a little bit of a mess because it is. <laughs> um, tablet boxes need to go in the bin. I've just made myself a uh, iced coffee. I'm really enjoying the um, skinny syrups, the vanilla flavour. Oh, it's so good. Um, that does look good on the front with uh, whipped cream on top, but no, I'm not going for that. The other one I really like is Toffee Caramel from Home Bargains, that's really nice as well. Okay, so yesterday, while I was in uh, Aldi, I picked up some of these thins. So they're high protein, high fibre, um, and they are, you can have one as your healthy extra B. Uh, the same as these you can have one of these for your healthy extra B as well and I got some pitters so these you can have as your healthy extra B as well so I know just recently me and Ian have been struggling with well me really struggling with lunch ideas and stuff um, and like oh we can't have sandwiches we can't have this kind of that but I'm just thinking like I got burgers so that's why I've got these um, and then what I'm going to do is what I don't use, I'm just going to put in the freezer. Um, the soft pitters, I've always got some in the freezer and there is some in the freezer now. Uh, 
and they're really quick to defrost. I bung them in the air fryer for like four minutes, two minutes either side, and they're defrosted, they're fine. Um, and they're just warm just to put stuff in. It's really, they're really yummy actually. Um, so I've just got the chicken in. It's looking good. Um, I don't know what we're gonna have with this just yet. Maybe, um, I don't know if we'll have it in a pita or we'll have um, a bit of salad. I don't know, Ian's, Ian texted me on the way, when I was on the way home from the gym and said, I have finished. And I went, yeah, me too. <laughs> so, uh, hmm. I will, I said I'll do some lunch. I was feeling just doing this chicken anyway. Um, but then also I've got leftover dinner from yesterday. We had chili. Um, it was really yummy and there is a little bit left over so I might have that tomorrow instead. Uh, it's in the fridge, it, it'll be fine. So yeah, I'm going to just wait for that chicken. Ian should be home soon and we can have some lunch. Um, and then yeah, that's, that's it. I feel like I have filmed so much. And I do this, so I get really enthusiastic and then it fizzles out so um, but today is summer sorrel well Saturday should have been a ranunculus day and then yesterday should have been summer sorrel but obviously I spent my time with Casey and the boys on Saturday it was so much fun so I didn't do any knitting so I just sort of skipped today um, and I'm gonna work on my summer sorrel today and then I think that is, oh no, my uh, Ripple Bralette, which I did do quite a bit on, on Friday while I was um, at the hospital with a friend or neighbour. So, uh, yeah. Right, that's it. I'm going to really stop rambling and just do what I need to do because otherwise it won't get done, will it? <laughs> uh, but I think we're just going to have a chilled afternoon. I don't think we're going to do anything much, just, yeah. I've got some Love Island to catch up with, uh, lots of YouTube to catch up with. I haven't watched YouTube for ages and I'm about five or six days, I say five or six days behind, but that it, the videos that I'm watching were uploaded like five or six days ago. Um, so that's why I'm saying I'm behind, not any other reason, it's just easier to say that. I haven't got no makeup on, I haven't got my glasses on either, which is making me feel a little bit odd, but hey ho. Uh, right, I'm definitely going to go, um, I'm going to have some lunch, and then I will catch you up later. Morning. it is Wednesday and oh my goodness I ache so much um, so I would have put some clips before this of what happened last night um, so yesterday <clears throat> I didn't really film much like talking but I was on zoom during the day uh, my Tuesday zoom it's 
really really fun I really enjoy it um, I enjoy all the zooms they're really they're really good um, and then Ian was going to meet up with a friend that had had his car um, how can I say this no he so if you didn't know and you're not a long-term viewer you know that we are into our cars and we like bass and music and stuff like that so one of Ian's friends has had his car um, based out basically <laughs> um, you would have seen some footage there's some of it that I can't put the original um, sound on because of copyright and everything and, and all that jazz um, but it is over on my Instagram. I will try and put it as a reel. It's on my Instagram. Um, and Ian went to see him at about one o'clock in the afternoon. And then I said to him, oh, I'll come and meet you later. Because he said, oh, I won't be back home early because a few people are not getting there till about six. I was like, oh, okay, that's fine. Um, uh, he was going to Two Tree Island and the reason they were going there is because it is literally in the middle of nowhere. There is no houses around or anything like that. Um, and we did go there. We was there for quite a while when a few friends turned up. It was really, really good. I really enjoyed it. Um, and it was just like years ago when we used to all meet up, have a laugh. And I don't know, it just felt like... It just felt good. It was really, really nice to finally get together again because we haven't for ages. Um, it's been sort of so long since some of us have met up and like we've seen each other. Don't get me wrong, we've seen each other, but not like just had a whole evening of just laughs. It was really good. Um, and uh, this morning, we didn't get home till one <laughs> this morning. <laughs> I know. We ended up having McDonald's for dinner because we was going to go to the fish and chip shop um, and get fish and chips so you can have the fit with Slimming World. You can have the fish as long as you take the batter off. Um, but we was just having a laugh and it got really late. <laughs> it was about 11 and we went to South End Seafront and everything was shut. Literally everything was shut. So we was like, hmm what do we do now uh, and we just decided to go McDonald's <clears throat> me and Ian was fine with that we was like we're, we're out we're having fun like it is what it is we can't restrict our whole life um, but yeah I just oh, I enjoyed it so much it was so good um, and yeah so I've put some pictures on my personal Instagram which is just Denise Deer so if you're not following me there and you want to then you're more than welcome um, and I don't post much on there. Uh, I do want to post more, but I, yeah, I don't post much. And <clears throat> I, I do want to keep sort of stuff separate from my knitting and crochet stuff if it's really not relevant. Like, so I know I do vlogging and all stuff on here, um, but some stuff I do, like the car stuff, I want to keep a little bit separate. Um, so yeah, it was just fun, but today, oh my goodness, <laughs> I'm so achy, I was going to go to the gym today, oh, I just don't think I can face it, my legs, because we've been, we were standing for quite a while last, yesterday as well, and, like, my arms are achy, and, I don't know, I just, oh, I just feel tired, so I might give it a miss today, <clears throat> and just sit and chill, and not really do much, that's, my plan. I've had to put my phone and my watch on this charger because my I have one of these in the bedroom, similar, not same thing, but like, yeah. And it didn't charge my phone or my watch, so I'm gonna have to swap it for that one. I think um, I got that one thinking it was wireless, where you could just put it up against it, but it's not, so it doesn't matter. But I like to char charge my stuff overnight, just easier. Um, I'm still in my pyjamas. I'm just so tired. <laughs> it is 5 to 10. I've been up for about, I don't know, 20 minutes. Um, I have got a coffee on the go. I'm going to watch some telly. Uh, but I thought I'd show you my progress on the um, Ripple Bralette. So 
I'm at the stage where I need to sort of split for the back, but before you split for the back, oh, oh everything's falling out of the bag. Before you split for the back, you have to do some rib, uh, some twisted rib, so like this at the bottom, across half of it, and then obviously bind that off. But I'm really happy with the way it's turn, turned out. Um, it's got some sort of pull in. Uh, but it's not too bad. I am pretty happy with it. Um, <coughs> oh, there's an alarm going off. I don't think it's mine. Oh, it's gone off. Um, I was just going to log on to the uh, CCTV, but it's, it went off. So obviously someone's done it. Um, and Ian's car's not here, he's, he's taking it to work. <laughs> uh, so yeah, uh, the next thing I was going to show you is my socks. So I don't know if I've actually shown these on um, a video, can't get me words out, but I have decided to do dinosaur socks. So this motif is from the uh, Dino Raw pattern from Megan Regan. I've made the boys um, dinosaur jumper or I made Mikey a dinosaur jumper then it got handed down to Ollie. Um, I should make them another one really for the winter. They're really cute. Uh, anyway so yeah I've decided to put it on a sock. So these are my June socks and they are Jurassic Park. This is the second sock, <clears throat> and as you can see there's no dinosaurs on it. I am thinking of, I've got the heel done, and I am, I don't know, a couple of rows into the foot. I, uh, <coughs> I was thinking of putting the dinosaurs along the bottom here because this was really tight to get on my leg but to be honest I really can't be bothered <laughs> so I was thinking of just striping in the red <clears throat> that's what I'm thinking just striping it in at the end by the toe because I'm lazy and I can't be bothered and they're my socks and I do what I want. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that is what I'm planning. Just So it's sock day today um, and I'm hoping I can get these socks done. I, I'm sure I can. I could just whiz up a foot quite quickly. Um, so yeah, I'm going to sit here for a couple of hours. Um, later on, me and Ian are going to go to one of his other friends um, to get his tyres or his wheels, um, so one of his, his, he recently got his wheels powder coated <clears throat> and new tyres fitted to the wheels, but they keep going down, like one of them keeps, the air keeps coming out, and his friend realised that he didn't put the valves in properly, so we're going back there today to, or later on, after five o'clock it is, uh, to get the valves refitted and refit sealed and the tire put back on the wheel i don't know whether that's going to be all the wheels or just the one wheel that keeps going down or what i don't know um because they were fitted incorrectly on all four so <coughs> yeah i don't know but for all that just to say i had a really lovely evening last night it was so much fun it was really good um and i think i think we might be planning on uh, going out Saturday evening as well. I'm sure there was something we was doing Saturday. Oh, I can't remember. Um, I might go to the gym tomorrow. I might get up with Ian when he goes to work. Go to the gym. And unfortunately I've got a funeral to go to tomorrow. So um, depending on how I feel in the morning, um, I might go to the gym tomorrow. I don't really want to go Friday <clears throat> because is it too close to weigh day? 
I don't know. I've I've never really done this sort of thing before, so that's why I only wanted to go on a, a Monday and Wednesday. I don't know. I might I might just go tomorrow. See how I feel. Um, but today my arms are really achy and my legs are like my hips are really achy. I don't know. I just anyway. I'm gonna stop rambling and I'm gonna knit on some of this sock. I will show you my progress. And uh, I might take you with us later, just for a little drive. This vlog is going to be really long, but I'm going to end it later on. Because <laughs> I feel like this one's really, really long. Uh, and me just rambling quite a lot. So, but that's what happens when I start vlogging again. So, yeah. And then, <clears throat> obviously, tomorrow, I don't know whether I'll vlog anything tomorrow, but then I'll start again on Friday and, and whatnot. But, um, yeah. I think we I think we might be going out Saturday. Not 100% sure. Uh, obviously we've got way in and then I don't know. I honestly do not know. I'm going because I'm just talking rubbish and I will catch you up a little bit later. So, I've now got dressed. <laughs> it is half past 3 now. Um and I am pleased to say that I have a finished pair of socks. So, yes, they are very different and I couldn't be bothered to do the the dinosaurs um, so I just striped a bit of red into uh, the second sock so not as effective as I thought they would be but yeah it is what it is and um, I have got a pattern for flamingo socks and shrimp socks by stone knits uh, I will try them at some stage um, just not right now uh, but yeah I'm pleased to say that these are finished I'll put them on the blockers and uh, take a picture later um, I do really like the way the yarn is is showing um, striped up it doesn't really change it much if that makes sense it's just obviously putting the red in between um, so it's still pulling or I don't know striking tigering whatever it's Zufari yarn um, I haven't got the ball bound, but this is the yarn that I was using, just with a red mini that I had, and I've still got some left. I was debating whether to do the toe in the red in this, and I was just like, do you know what, I'm just going to carry on. <laughs> um, I've got to the stage where I have so many pairs of socks that I can't fit them in my box anymore. So, I know I'm running a sock along, but I think I might have to pause my sock knitting uh, just for the moment and just enjoy seeing everybody else's sock so I'm still going to run the sock along um, until the end of the year um, but I just don't think I can knit any more socks um, yeah I've just got so many and I have even give some to Casey um, like some that were still in really really good condition but I just didn't wear that often because uh, I would gravita gravitate to other socks. Um, so yeah, I don't think I will be knitting socks um, a lot uh, at all. I have found another project that I really like, and it's small and I take it with me, is the Yarn Cozy. Um, so that might be something that just gets put in a bag and I can just knit round and round on that. Um, and I can do the um, the ribbed one so that can just go in a little bag like this one and I can take it with me in my handbag and stuff so um, yeah but socks for now I think I might take a little break um, I might change my mind in a few weeks and then I can get July socks done but for me I just think I do want to catch up eventually um, I might even make socks for other people. I just don't know. And I know I bought some sock yarn a little while ago, but it don't go off. And and I think I'm like this because I don't wear socks in the summer. Where in the winter I'm always wearing socks and I'm like rotation of socks is always there. Uh, but in the summer I just don't wear them. So yeah, I just feel like they're just sitting there for no reason at the minute. <laughs> uh, but anyway, that's that. Um, I'm wearing my summer sorrel today, um, just with some black shorts, and I love this. And I'm so glad I'm making another one. And I am glad I'm making a smaller size, because this one is um, 
I don't know. I'm just thinking a smaller size will be better. Hopefully in like a couple of months. <laughs> um, but yeah. So that's it. We're going to go to uh, Tunbridge Wells and get Ian's tyres done. I'm going to take the camera with me. See if I can film the journey or any views or anything. And yeah. So we're going to make a move very soon. Hello, good morning, it's Thursday and yes I know I said I was going to end the vlog yesterday uh, but to be honest we got home late, <clears throat> it weren't super late, it was like mm, nine-ish and then we had dinner and stuff, we just had like um, cold meats and pickles and that for dinner because it was late and it was the easiest thing to do and it was really yummy so that's all that matters. Um, but. Yeah, so uh, I finished my socks yesterday. Uh, so yesterday when we went to get Ian's tyres done, which one is still going flat. I know, I know. Just... <sighs> um, I took my summer sorrel with me. And this is progress. This might be a little bit better, if not... <laughs> Uh, so this is my progress. I absolutely love it. Um, I wish I had three skeins of this colourway because I think a whole summer sorrel in this just would be stunning. <coughs> I haven't got three skeins but I'm going to fade the next colour in um, soon-ish because I need to use as much of the yarn as I can. And there is still lots left on this first one. Uh, you'll have to excuse me, I'm in my pyjamas again because I've only just sort of got up. I've made my coffee, um, I'm going to watch some telly and today I'm going to a funeral. Um, it is the funeral of a family friend that was more like an uncle when I was growing up. Um, and still like, still like an uncle. Um, he was my granddad's best friend and he was just always there when I was younger and he was just, yeah, it was just really lovely and if you are on my Facebook you would have seen I put a picture, up, picture of him up um, when my mum was over we went to the calf there was me, the family friend and Mikey in the calf um, so, yes, that's what's happening today. <clears throat> I've got a few hours before I have to leave, so I'm going to pull out today's project, which is the Islet Burst Shawl, and then get ready, basically. I don't know whether to wash my hair or not. It's raining out, so do I bother? Or put it up? I don't know, I might just put it up. <laughs> Um, I was going to go to the gym this morning, but again, I feel so tired, like really tired. We went to bed early-ish, um, I don't know what it is, but even my arm is really hurting as well, so I was doing weights on Monday, but all my arm here, it's like the muscle is really tender, so I don't know whether I've done too much, maybe because I'm not used to it um, and I need to build myself up so we'll see um, but yeah that's that's it I'm gonna end this vlog here because today I don't think I'll be doing anything else um, I will film if I do um, I have used my phone quite a bit for this vlog and I'm hoping it uploads okay um, I know it takes a little bit longer to edit because I need to do proxy files and stuff like that. But that's fine because I've managed to think, oh, I need to record or I want to record this. And, and I've just used my phone or taken pictures and stuff. So, yeah, that's uh, that's been good because I've been remembering. And, yeah. <laughs> right, I'm definitely going to go. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. I apologise for the length of it because I honestly don't know how long it's going to be. 
Um, I hope you're all doing well. I still haven't decided about July vlogs yet. But I know for definite, well, I think, for definite, <laughs> me and Ian are going out on Saturday evening with some friends again, um, possibly to South End. Um, I think there's like a, a car meet going on or something. So yeah, we will be doing that on Saturday, which is the first. Um, oh, my new washing machine is being delivered tomorrow. So if you know the saga we got this washing machine in December and we've had four um, people come out to look at it because it keeps banging and making a noise and things keep coming loose um, so on Tuesday I think it was Tuesday um, yeah it was definitely Tuesday another engineer came and a I just was really fed up and he cut a long story short he um what's the word he said it's no good it needs replacing decondemned he no condemned decondemned whatever the machine <laughs> and I contacted them yesterday and they said they can deliver on Friday so that's tomorrow, I will get a new washing machine, hopefully it won't make noise and it will sit in its place and be quiet. <laughs> um, so that's what's happening tomorrow. <clears throat> so yeah, right, I'm going to go. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed, hope you have a lovely weekend and I shall see you all in the next one. Bye guys.